Welcome to Busy Central Launch Event 2025 Release Wave 1. In this session, we will show the most of our new enhancements related to e-documents in this wave. Before we go to all these new features, I want to remind you on our e-document solution journey. Why I'm doing that? Because I want to remind you that we started with this project just two years ago only two years ago, and when I say two years, we didn't deliver first uh, release. Our idea is two years old. Our internal project kickoff uh, happened May 2023. So in first wave, wave two, October 2023, we just delivered some basic set of functionality. We made uh, localization for Denmark, first connectors, and just, for, yes, in first uh, interface for extending. Then we added more features. We added, uh, we got first users and partners, uh, added uh, some new localizations, we added Copilot, then we continue with um, uh, 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 attachments to PayPal format with some uh, new uh, uh, different uh, formats and different uh, connectors. Then slightly we moved to new localization end of last year uh, with uh, Germany and Spanish localization and so on, so on. So now we are in 2025 release wave one. You will see many new features, so I will not read all of them in this moment. And what is important, you can expect much more to come in next minors. We are expecting new e-documents APIs, some new document types. So we are continuing to invest in uh, this module. So this is important for Microsoft and we will continue to invest based on your feedback and what we see as strategical moves. So we already have backlog for next wave, so you can expect much more good new things in October. So let's make an overview of what is new, and you will see this is a full screen of all new features. And I'm pretty sure now if I calculate it, more than 50% are based on your feedback. So this is important. Every time when you have feedback, tell us, and we will try to improve uh, this module based on that. So now we have possibility to delete incorrect e-documents and avoid duplicates. This, this was important because in some cases you could uh, repeat um, um, entering the same type of document. So system will now, if recognizes a duplicate, just remove automatically. So now, additionally, you can send e-documents via service and email simultaneously. So this is important. Very often, if you, even if you have some service, some connector, you want to send to some specific person via email this document. So now you can do it in a parallel. Then multiple incoming documents can be attached. If you remember, if you are working manually, you could attach only one by one. Now you can set all of them, five, six, ten, and attach automatically. Then the uh, automated attachments into PayPal format. So now if you are working sales, system will automatically take your uh, invoice uh, uh, layout and attach to your documents and send this automatically. When we receive, system will automatically extract your PDF from um, uh, PayPal and you will see this uh, PDF into a fake, fake box in an electronic document. So there are so many new things. Uh, process documents in two steps, uh, preview incoming um, uh, electronic invoices, uh, export reminders, finance charge, the PayPal files, and fix unposted purchase documents because what could happen? You could happen accidentally to delete a uh, purchase invoice already connected with electronic invoice or purchase credit memo. Now you can just go back to electronic uh, document and you can say uh, recreate and system will automatically recreate purchase invoice and purchase credit memo. So many new interesting things, new connectors, uh, new localizations, new interface, so many new things. And I would like now to emphasize uh, this one, uh, Asia document intelligence with e-documents. And why? I will move to this story shortly to explain why this is important. What we had earlier, electronic invoice, so this is some XML format, the most of these formats were XML type. It doesn't mean they're necessary to be XML, but electronic documents, some kind of machine readable format as electronic invoice. We got this as this is machine readable format. We created our, our electronic document in a busy central if we had this format already set up. So it was how system worked earlier and how it still works. But what we added, now you can get even PDF invoice. And why this is important? Maybe you are in a country where you have enforcement to use electronic invoices. 
but you will still have vendors from some other countries. And if these other countries, it doesn't mean that they have enforcement to use electronic invoices and you can get PDF. So our idea is to keep the same user experience. So you do not need to switch from one functionality to another. Absolutely everything the same. So now if you receive PDF invoice, system will send to Asia Document Intelligence. And what it is, actually this is OCR service, our uh, Asia OCR service, now embedded in a busy central. So system will send to Asia Document Intelligence. When we get uh, information back, it will be again machine readable format. From this moment, when this is machine readable format, there is no any difference if this original document was from PDF or from XML or some other format. This is machine readable format. We will proceed with electronic documents and proceed um, uh, further uh, creating purchase invoices, purchase create memo, whatever you got. So this is important. Now, um, I want to emphasize this is still work in progress. We have this in the preview. Uh, but this is something what will come very soon. And we will have separate session about uh, showing all these details related to PDF. So in this session, we will not show this part. I just wanted to emphasize that this is now unique platform. So whatever you are working, if you're working only with electronic invoices, good. If you're working only with PDFs, good. If you have combination, everything good, the same user experience. So this is the main message. You will have the same user experience and all features already existing for electronic invoicing, for example, Copilot for matching with purchase order. It can be used with uh, PDF invoices as well and opposite. Everything what is created for PDF can be used for electronic invoices. So this is the main message uh, about that. But now I will uh, switch to my colleague Magnus and he will show the most attractive Definitely, we cannot show all these features. And yes, before we switch to Magnus, some of these features will be available in April. Some of them will be available in May or June. But this is a list of features what you can expect in April or very soon after that. So Magnus, please show us some of these exciting features. Thanks, Alexander. Yeah, so I picked out uh, a handful of them to, uh, to demo today so we can see how they are in the product. So let's start with the two-step processing. So I will show you that on our eDocument services page, we now have this uh, new field called automatic processing. And as Alexander said before this release, this was always uh, true. We would always try uh, and create a, a purchase invoice, but again, with feedback from the community, from uh, our users and our partners, there was a request to actually being able to review uh, the document before you, you go ahead and create uh, the, the purchase invoice in BC. So let us uh, demonstrate that. So I will go ahead and, uh, and set this to no for my uh, service. And then I will navigate to our uh, e-documents list page to demo uh, importing a document. And here you can see actually that uh, for today's uh, illustration purposes, I have a, a e-document that is uh, in an error state. Uh, and one of the, the new things that we also can do is that we can now delete e-documents if they are wrong or if the received content is not what was agreed upon and so on. So there is this option now. So this one I actually want to get rid of. So I will just go ahead and delete it. Click yes. And we of course make sure that, that when you delete, that you actually want to delete it because you might not be able to retrieve it again, especially if it's coming from a, an external service. So but in this case, I want to, so I'll go ahead and click yes. And then I will upload a uh, new file here. I will choose my demo XML. And as you can see, it opens up the e-document and it has been what I guess we can consider partially processed. We can inspect the preview lines here to see that, okay, there is a desk in this uh, invoice. Uh, it has, there is only one of them and it has a certain price. Before we actually go ahead and create the purchase invoice, you can go and see the lines. Again, you can go on the related view extracted data to, to also inspect uh, header information that will eventually end up on the uh, created purchase invoice in BC. So this looks good to me. I'll just do a final confirmation with uh, the attachment that we now automatically attaches any embedded uh, PDF in the XML. So I can open up and see uh, that this was provided with the e-invoice, and to me, I'll zoom in a little bit here, it looks okay. So I am good to go ahead and actually process the document. So I'll click reprocess document. And now we have uh, the, the invoice here. We can see that it was filled out 
and I will open it up. And we now have a, uh, a, a created uh, purchase invoice. And this is how you can now do two-step processing uh, when you have this uh, field uh, set to know in the e-document service. Then also just to illustrate the deletion for a more realistic scenario, I will upload another file, demo one here. And again, we have it in this, uh, in this uh, draft or in this uh, in between before we have created the, the purchase invoice in the system. And I actually don't, I don't agree with, uh, with what it was, it was not what uh, we want to create a, an invoice with. So I'll go ahead and I will just click the, the delete. Um, and again, we'll make sure that you actually want to go ahead and do this and then you click yes, and it will delete the document. Then I will actually switch to the sending side to demo another new addition, namely uh, embedding the invoice that you are sending in the XML when you're sending it off so that the receiver will get a, a printed version. And if they're using BC, it will be in the fact box in their incoming e-document. So let's see how that works. So on my uh, demo sending company here, I will open up e-document services because this is also a configuration you will need to set. So I'll open up my Pagero connector and I will scroll down to the exporting tab. And here we can see we have a new parameter, embed document PDF to export. And I will actually enable this. So now whenever I create a e-document when posting, I will embed that uh, PDF of that invoice inside the XML. So let's try and do that. So I'll go to our well, customer 1000 here. I will create a new sales invoice. And then I'll just quickly fill it out with uh, one of the desk here. That is fine. And I will just put a test reference in this one. Let's see, it is fine. Release and post here. And then I will open up the posted invoice. And as you've could, you can just go to related e-documents and then open up the related document to this posted sales invoice. And now it gets a little bit uh, gnarly. You have to go under the locks because we want to inspect the XML so we can see that, that the embedded PDF is actually there. So I'll open up the locks in the new uh, fact box here. See that we have our exported lock. From here, we can export the file and I will just open it up quickly and zoom in a little bit. And you can see here under in the Pebble standard, this is what we have added that under attachments, we now have that uh, there is an embedded binary object that contains that invoice uh, that you posted. And that's, uh, yeah, that is a, a, a brief look into some of the, the things that we have shipped. And uh, yeah, back to you, Alexander. Thank you, Magnus. As I told in the beginning, and there are so many new exciting features, it will take much more time to go deep in all of them. But please, uh, some other uh, yes features are explained in some other sessions. So I'm inviting you to watch another session because in this release, in this busy central launch event, we will have six different sessions related to electronic uh, documents. So please watch one of them because you will find many, many exciting new features. So now, thank you for watching this video.